when workplace temperatures are scorching, flammable liquids can ignite, causing dangerous fires. So before it's broiling, searing, or otherwise caliente, follow these four steps to flammable liquid safety. Hello, I'm Dan Clark of the Safety Brief, tackling health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites, a service of Creative Safety Supply. Oh, by the way, I worked over management, got the deal. If you make an order at creativesafetysupply.com, use coupon code BIG10. It saves you 10% and lets them know I sent you. What is a flammable liquid? Flammable liquids can ignite when they give off vapors that mix with air. The temperature at which a liquid gives off vapors is called the flash point. Any liquid with a flash point over 100 degrees Fahrenheit is considered a flammable liquid. You may still see warning signs and labels with the word inflammable. Inflammable comes from the word inflame and it means flammable, burns easily. Because of the confusion, back in the 1920s, the NFPA urged Americans to use flammable instead of inflammable. Here are four steps to flammable liquid safety. One, proper storage. Use only containers and portable tanks approved by the Department of Transportation. Make sure storage rooms have adequate ventilation. Air should circulate so it's completely changed at least six times an hour. Storage areas should have three-foot-wide aisles for egress and for firefighters to make their way through. Containers over 30 gallons should not be stacked. Two, Appropriate labeling. Follow GHS standards for HASCOM labeling. Use the right pictograms for flammability. Also, look at the Department of Transportation labeling guidelines. 3. Adequate fire suppression methods. Sprinklers and fire extinguishers should be in good working order. Know your fire extinguishers. Special type Class B should be used on flammable liquids. 4. Assess sources of ignition. Anything near a flammable liquid that gets too hot could be an ignition source. Sparks, hot machinery, welding torches, people smoking, even the buildup of static electricity could start a fire when flammable liquid vapors appear. Find ways to keep these heat sources away from them. That's all for this episode, Four Steps to Flammable Liquid Safety. Come back for more ways to stay safety compliant in today's ever-changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, a service of Creative Safety Supply. Save 10% off your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com with coupon code BIG10.